Acesulfame Potassium, Wikipedia Article Audio Acesulfame Potassium, also known as Acesulfame K or ACE-K, is a calorie-free sugar substitute often marketed under the trade names Sunet and Sweet One. In the European Union, it is known under the E number E950. It was discovered accidentally in 1967 by German chemist Karl Kloss at Hoechst AG. In chemical structure, acesulfame potassium is the potassium salt of 6-methyl 1,2,3-oxathiazine 4-12,2-dioxide. It is a white crystalline powder with molecular formula C, 4H, 4NO. 4S and a molecular weight of 201.24 g slash mole. Acesulfame K is 200 times sweeter than sucrose, as sweet as aspartame, about two-thirds as sweet as saccharin, and one-third as sweet as sucralose. Like saccharin, it has a slightly bitter aftertaste, especially at high concentrations. Kraft Foods patented the use of sodium ferrolate to mask acesulfame's aftertaste. Acesulfame K is often blended with other sweeteners. These blends are reputed to give a more sucrose-like taste whereby each sweetener masks the other's aftertaste, or exhibits a synergistic effect by which the blend is sweeter than its components. Acesulfame potassium has a smaller particle size than sucrose allowing for its mixtures with other sweeteners to be more uniform. Properties Discovery Unlike aspartame, acesulfame K is stable under heat, even under moderately acidic or basic conditions, allowing it to be used as a food additive in baking, or in products that require a long shelf life. Although acesulfame potassium has a stable shelf life, it can eventually degrade to acetoacetamide, which is toxic in high doses. In carbonated drinks, it is almost always used in conjunction with another sweetener, such as aspartame or sucralose. It is also used as a sweetener in protein shakes and pharmaceutical products, especially chewable and liquid medications where it can make the active ingredients more palatable. The acceptable daily intake of acesulfame potassium is listed as 15 mg slash kg slash day. Acesulfame potassium as well as other sugar substituents were intercalated into some layered double hydroxide hosts by ion exchange. Characterization tests have shown that there is complete intercalation of the anions into the LDH hosts. In acesulfame K, the absorption at 1290 cm1 one is found in the intercalated product at 1314 cm1. One. Since this absorption corresponds to the SO double bond, it means that the bonds interact strongly with the metal hydroxide layers thus an orientation of the intercalated molecules is possible. Acesulfame potassium provides a sweet taste without affecting glycemic responses and without the high content of caloric sugars. Some studies, however, discovered that the consumption of non-nutritive sweeteners has led to weight gain because people over-ingest calories thus increasing the risk of type 2 diabetes. Acesulfame potassium is widely used in the human diet and excreted by the kidneys. It thus has been used by researchers as a marker to estimate to what degree swimming pools are contaminated by urine. Other names for acesulfame K are potassium acesulfamate, Potassium salt of 6 methyl 1,2,3 oxythiazin 4-1-2,3 dioxide, and potassium 6 methyl 1,2,3 oxythiazine 4-1-382,2 dioxide. Safety
Acesulfame potassium was developed after the accidental discovery of a similar compound 12,2 dioxide in 1967 by Carl Kloss and Harold Jensen at Hoogst AG. After accidentally dipping his fingers into the chemicals with which he was working, Kloss licked them to pick up a piece of paper. Kloss is the inventor listed on a United States patent issued in 1975 to the Assigny Hoogstichte and Gesellschaft for one process of manufacturing acesulfame potassium. Subsequent research showed a number of compounds with the same basic ring structure had varying levels of sweetness. 6-methyl-1,2,3-oxathiazine-4-12,2-dioxide had particularly favorable taste characteristics and was relatively easy to synthesize, so it was singled out for further research, and received its generic name from the World Health Organization in 1978. Acesulfame potassium first received approval for tabletop use in the United States in 1988. As with other artificial sweeteners, concern exists over the safety of acesulfame potassium. However, the United States Food and Drug Administration has approved its general use. Critics say acesulfame potassium has not been studied adequately and may be carcinogenic although these claims have been dismissed by the European Food Safety Authority and FDA. Compendial Status Environment Canada tested the water from the Grand River at 23 sites between its headwaters and where it flows into Lake Erie. The results suggest that acesulfame appears in far higher concentrations than saccharin or sucralose at the various test sites.